Previously on Film School. All right, let's go home. That's a wrap! I almost don't care about what we have in the can, about this thing getting processed and how it looks, because I feel so good about what we did. There are just three weeks before the festival. We have to finish the film in this time. It will take night and day. We're aiming to start fine edits by the weekend, which is insane. Action! I definitely think that if people are actually feeling the emotion that they're supposed to be expressing, it's much more realistic than if they're pretending to feel it. We played Truth or Dare and did crazy stuff. Leah had to stick her finger in her butt and then smell it. We're shooting a sexual scene with an underage actor. I wanted to make something that was more gritty and intense. I, I don't want to seem like I okayed a porn shoot. The fact that it's happening could be illegal. Film students, 10 weeks, one goal. To direct an award-winning student film and launch their careers. Which one has what it takes? I, I love editing. You know you had this idea in your head and you know all these people were sort of running around with cameras on the street. Then when you actually see something projected that's a movie, it's like, wait a minute, so it really happened? Well, editing is, a, is, a, is a magic, you know? So when film is completed, these films are welcomed into NYU Film Festival. Agents are there, studios are there. You just try to get a scene, you're trying to get noticed. If it's good, students will be invited to studios, executives will talk to them. You know, it's like, you are shot at the world, here I am. I'm a filmmaker out of town, look at this. So people have to, to see your work. Okay. The film that I'm making now, which is currently called Multiple Neurosis, is about a teenage girl whose mom is sick. She's taking care of her mother. They're not close. They fight all the time. So she never really had a mother and is looking for men, basically, to take care of her. OK, go out on the set, please. Rehearsal's up. This awesome. is the porn shot. Yeah. Look down, Emma, at the jelly beans. But then right then, start kissing again. It starts getting more, more into it. Get into it more, like be more aggressive, but that's what I want completely. It's the first part of that. Yeah, so it's going to be. He's getting what? Starting off here, over, and then her legs are open. And then start to take her underwear off. Is that too extreme? And then like start rubbing up against her, like as if you know. Uh huh. Then it's you curl back into him. You sit back. No, no, no. First sit back. No, I'm not saying. Okay. I mean, not the reality of what we're shooting. If you're uncomfortable with anything, no. it's a huge <laughs> deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not, okay. Don't go to something. Okay. okay. I'm gonna step outside. <laughs> the reason it came up is because there's been some concern, not just there is it, nothing with, illegal. No, no, it's, it's not. Don't worry. It's over. It would make me feel a lot better, and I think it would make everyone feel a lot better if you called Emma's mother mm -hmm. and told her exactly what was going on in the scene this and is get her. Silly. It's not silly because her daughter yeah. is a minor, and I don't want anyone to come up to me after seeing this. So, Iris, it's not your problem. It's the director's problem. No, it's, it's a problem because problem. at this point, you're not the only person who's making this movie. There are 20 other people here who are making this movie. No, this is I think a waste of time. This is a big waste. It would take two minutes Sorry. to do it. I'm feeling like I'm getting blamed for organizing a child pornography shoot. After all, it's only a movie. It's only a movie. 
Why did it have to happen now? Like, it should have happened two weeks ago. Exactly. I'm just... It was. It was actually. It was actually brought up. And it was said it was taken care of. You know. That there's been discussions. You know that your parents were aware of this. Yes. Do those conversations happen that you're aware of? Well, I don't. I don't want to get into it. Because I don't think they have. If somebody wants to talk to my parents, then... Well, that's what we're going to do right now and try and solve it. You know, just to do the right well, thing. Well, can I be informed before somebody talks to my parents? Let me find out, okay? It's funny because she says, what's with all the added drama? But she's the one who's adding drama by saying, no, 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 don't call her, don't do this. If she had called from the very beginning when we asked her to and had just answered the question, then it would have been OK. If she had reassured us so that she had explicit better. consent, it would have been OK. But all she did was shut the door in our face and say that she was going to do the scene. You know, and she didn't answer any questions. And that's why all of this got started. Um, well, there's just like this scene with me and my boyfriend, you know? And we're like kissing in the scene. And some people like feel really uncomfortable about it. So everyone's just freaking out. No, I'm totally fine. And, and I really worked really hard on the scene, and we shot it, and it was so good. And now everyone's freaking out about it. Like, there's this whole drama. Because, because people think it's weird that I'm 16. Hi, Abby. Hi, this is Iris. Um, I'm the producer on Leah's film. Um, everything is fine. I just want to tell you explicitly so that you know exactly what's going on, that you're not surprised by anything. But there's no reason to be alarmed, of course. <laughs> um, but, you know, she makes out with her boyfriend. And there are little things like she, she gets felt up. And so people just wanted to be reassured that you did know what was going on. Right. OK, I think that's just what everybody needed to hear. And, you know, she's great. Yeah, she did. The scene is coming out really nicely. Yeah, so I, I hope you're happy when you see it. <laughs> yeah. Action. Those scenes make me very uncomfortable, but I think that they're worth doing. I mean, basically, I was aiming for something that would be disturbing to the audience um, emotionally. The character, she's very vulnerable and is really looking for someone to take care of her. She really wants him to kind of hold her and comfort her. She ends up kind of settling for a physical relationship, because at least it feels like some sort of intimacy. And I think we, I think we got it. Um, cut. Coming along. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's interesting when uh, things come together. We have this deadline, but we are working hard and uh, we are on schedule. Many things like sound design, blah, 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 can't be done. Right now, we don't have the money. Hmm. But let's go ahead and let's do the movie. That's the most important thing. Can we watch again the beginning? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm pretty satisfied from the way the film is coming together. So I like to show some people what I did at festival. The audience I'm talking about is the professional producer, agents, because they pay, you know? Sorry. Ideally, I want every shot to be like I envisioned it and how it was written in the script. We missed some shots some of the shots that I wanted for this opening scene. So I'm still not comfortable or happy with it, but... I mean, you, you really need, like, building shots. I mean, I don't know what shot you're going to have before this. Before this was supposed to be the opening shot of the film. It was supposed to be shot from the Staten Island Ferry, a huge shot of the city of Metropolis. That was supposed to go from that cut right into this. Are you planning on getting these things, or...? I want to submit something that's quality. I'm not going to submit something that I'm not proud of. I want those people watching it at NYU Film Festival, especially the big wigs, you know, the producers and agents and all that stuff. I want them to see what a, a, a person can do with a little money, student crew, some passion, 
and a story that's actually about something and say, all right, let's give this kid a chance to do something. Carrie, we need to get these things shot, for real. I'll try to get permits, whatever, but if not, let's just go out and just get them done. I'm going to show my film in a master class today. I hope that Boris will see something good in the film and that some good advice can come out, something that can be useful to me to make a better movie. For me, opening long shot, I see production, but I don't see truth. I don't believe in interactions, mostly. They're not convincing. I don't believe it's New York street, New York guy, New York reactions. I think it's good casting of main character, but he is surrounded by very unprecise people, very familiar, and familiar things are boring, okay? It's a lot of professional efforts, but they're not sincere to me. For example, dance. I don't believe this young woman would spend so much time dancing with this guy. Idea is good, strange guy dancing, but the way dance is initiated, the way she accepts it, the way they dance. I don't believe people have no difficulties dancing together and daytime, you know. It's, they, they, everybody's comfortable in this movie, and I don't know if life is always comfortable, you know? And as much as I respect script and support the script, it's difficult to focus what script is about. So, all right? I'm telling a fucking cartoon story, okay? It's a fable, it's a fable. You know, I don't need to be realistic. I don't care to be realistic. I knew that Boris was trying to do everything to let me understand how real dynamics works in life. You can transfer this into film. I have a strong resistance as a filmmaker to do this. So there is this conflict going on inside me about the film. Like Matador and the bull looking each other in the eyes and I feel that I don't have a sword in my hands. Sounds kidding. Six Baker, take two. Mark. Action. You know he's never breastfed. So? So? I think that explains a lot. I think it would have been nice to be able to breastfeed. I think it would be very comforting. I like breastfeeding. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that is a wrap on this movie. Woo! Mostly, mostly. I just want my life back. I don't, I need to remember who I am and where I came from. <laughs>the film to be really good just because everything I do I want it to be really good I want to make something that's beautiful and like speaks to some sort of truth and I, I think that works like I, I even think that doesn't quite work it's like it's I think the main problem I'm having is the sound in terms of my film I do need the right people to see it because they're the people who are in power of then putting it into movie theaters or on television because what's the point of making a film if no one sees it yeah, obviously it'd be great if someone saw it and was like, wow, this girl really knows how to direct, I'm gonna give her a ton of money to make a project. Do a condom song. If I can figure out a way to get financing without having to like sell my soul um, or vomit in the process, I would definitely love to keep making independent films. So you uh, put the final edit together. We're gonna shoot this, this opening scene, which I suggest we do somewhere else or not do it all. But we're gonna shoot it and see what we get. Be soaking miserable wet. It's 5.30 in the morning.
There's some shots, you know, that are worth getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning for, and there's some shots that just aren't. Shoot a shot of Manhattan. You think I can just? You gotta have the permit to use this equipment. Guys. Yeah. You can bring back the regular small handheld one. Uh huh. And you can shoot all you want. But film students can't shoot though, right? No. All right. Excuse me, guys. I'll go right. All right. Here, can you take this? I got, but we'll see. Um, I did what I had to do, but that wasn't enough. It, it is frustrating. You want something really badly and you can't get it, you know? After I show my film to Boris, I have the feeling that the film is not yet what I want. You try everything to make the story work. Make it clear what this film is talking about. I decided to cut again the film, adding animation and narration. Imagine a city of eight million islands, each floating one past the other every day. Adding a narration will put together elements that in this moment, in the storytelling, are a little disconnected. No one in this city of island is alone, not even a spider. Not even a spider. Not even a spider. Do you like this animation? Yeah. It's a style, no? I love that people. Now the point is, let's place somewhere in the film oh, and yeah. see how it works. Fate is a funny thing in true stories. After 20 years of inspiring insults and injury, the spider's purpose was unveiled. Cheers. Cheers. It's important to show this film to this festival. I think it's a turning point for me. You keep working through the last minute. It's scary because I don't know if it's enough time to do it, but it's enough time to get really exhausted trying. So what are you doing? And we are running out of time, desperately out of time. Cut right into this. Yeah, it's this one, right? I have a lot of work to get this film ready for the festival. This is gonna work. Yeah. If you want to do that, that's fine. I just don't like this shot. Well, I mean, lose this shot. The, the, the point was to get a feeling. Yeah. The idea is to try to create more of an interaction with them looking out and what they're seeing to get a sense that this is why they're getting riled up. My vote is just keep this montage how it is. Look, I'm telling you how the, it's supposed to feel, the inter right. interplay. If you don't think the interplay works, then if you can find a way to help it work, then find a help way to make it work. But there's an interplay that I'd like to happen inside and outside the car. I, I'm gonna work on this right now, and I'm thinking about that, all right? So let me just play with some other stuff. Could you back up just so I yeah. can see how this run, how so you run I, into I this? And I tried, I did a whole bunch of different ones. But yeah. all, I can show you the other ones. So this is the one I decided to use. But back up a little more just oh, so yeah, I get it, like okay. the rhythm of the whole sequence. Yeah, good. Well, well that's the important shot. Yeah. yeah, and so when you're underwater, no one knows. Oh, OK, her. OK. You know what, to really say that that's the mom and that's the issue right. is when the little girl swims away, if you left it on the mom just not moving. If you had that big wide shot of her, the mom just, and the, the girl, yeah, I would say the other wide one, the other shot. one. Yeah, See, I, just, this, I don't like the wide shot, I know, it's just so but, muddy. But it's her just there I know. stuck. And then you run into the problem that then is the movie about the girl or is the movie about the right. mom? It's about the girl. And, and so, so leaving with the girl is more interesting. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm really glad that I chose to use my mom instead of using another actress. Like, she definitely gave so much of herself in each take and just really wanted me to be happy and to please me. And just seeing that was really valuable for me. It's hard for me to even separate like this from the film. I can't tell if it's a good film or not objectively, but like I'm definitely happy with it in that, and just in that she's in it. I've been holding on to that story since he was shot. <coughs> this is really personal for me. Officers fired 41 shots at the unarmed man the in the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good. We made a movie. There's an idea on a fucking piece of paper, and it's real now. It feels good as hell to turn in the final version of the film. Not even a spider. Not even a spider. Are you crazy, you stupid jerk? Yeah, I'm crazy, lady. Uh, did you have a good time? Big time, big time with your mother. <laughs> okay, here's the point. The late time we can go there is quarter to four. Matthew, please, can you answer me? I, um... We gotta go. That's the point. Whatever we are, we gotta go. There is no more time, and we are at high risk to don't submit. Music here. Where is the music here? The music here no, is very, very terrible, important. Matthew, this is the old version of the this music, is... but this, this is not the, the, the right one. But, but we do need to go right now, if I'm not mistaken, because otherwise we'll miss this deadline. But that's, I mean, that's going to be great for submission in any case. I'm right about that, right? We can make you a correct yeah, copy and mm -hmm. you can try to switch them in NYU after the deadline. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's like quarter till, right? We have 15 minutes, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. I was working very hard. After I dropped this tape, it's like you gave birth to a child and now it's over. Now the child can walk with his own legs. And that's make me proud. Last minute delivery, you know? Next on Film School. Every year in the spring, we do the first run film festival. If you come out of this program and you're acknowledged as one of the top three films of the year, Hollywood producers want to meet you. It'd be great if someone saw it and was like, wow, this girl really knows how to direct. I'm going to give her a ton of money to make a project. I hope that working on this short open opportunities in the future. I'm incredibly nervous. Everything that we've been fucking waiting for is going down right now. The color of infinity inside an empty glass. I'm squinting my eyes. I'm still figuring out what's going on.